Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Chelsea here. So today we are going to be doing a foundation review. So this is the Every Hue Beauty Luminous Tinted Moisturizer. And I'll be wearing this all day and um, doing one or two check-ins so that you can see how it wears on my face and make the decision if you'd like to purchase it. So let's just get right into the video. So I'm going to um, read a little bit about the tinted moisturizer and then get into the application of it on my face. So it says that it um, is an all-day wear tinted moisturizer. It has um, SPF 25 in it and it also has vitamins A, C, and E. And it claims to also have medium coverage. So I'm going to start with applying a primer. Um, I, apply, I, I always wear a primer <clears throat> excuse me, with any foundation that I put on my face. So I only think it's fair to, you know, give it the same opportunity I would with any other foundation I would wear. So, Every Hue Beauty is a brand that I want to say they launched around 2016. Um, they might have started a little sooner, but they are a fairly newer brand to the market. They were, um, they are created by four women of various um, ethnicities and they created this brand, this brand to accommodate women of color. So um, when I first heard about them, I first heard about them in 2016 and I bought their tinted moisturizer then and I really liked it. Um, and so I saw, I wanna say maybe a year or so ago that they came out with this particular tinted moisturizer in a new formula. So I was like, hmm, let me give it a try. So, um, I've worn this tinted moisturizer, this will be my fourth time wearing it, so I have a really good feel for it, and um, I will say that this is definitely, definitely medium coverage. So, you can look at my freckles on this side of my face compared to the freckles on this side of my face, and you can see that it really does cover them pretty good. Um, you definitely don't have to apply this or apply as much as I'm applying now. I'm more so applying this to make sure you all can see the amount of coverage you can get with it. But typically when I applied it, applied this tinted moisturizer, I'll apply about half the amount that you see here. Cause I like a tinted moisturizer for a lighter type of coverage. But it is good to know that if you want it to build it up to a fuller medium coverage, you can. It comes in 10 shades. You can purchase it from the Every Hue Beauty website or you can purchase it from Target. It retails for $18.99 and I got mine from Target, just my local Target. Um, so it's great. I think it's awesome that they are sold actually in Target stores. I would say to go on the Every Hue Beauty website to get color matched. So they've got um, a really good color match um, chart and that's how I found my shade. So I'm using the shade Praline and they had about four or five different common um, foundation brands. So for the Maybelline Fit Me, it said that if I were shade 330, that I would be this shade in the tinted moisturizer and I think this is pretty spot on. So I definitely think you should try their website just to get a range or get an idea of your color. And then if there's a target near you, you can purchase it there or you can purchase it from their website. So here is the tinted moisturizer on my face. It does have a bit of an orangey tint to it. I have a mirror right here, so that's why I keep looking over here. Um, it's got a bit of a tint, a orange tint to it, but it's nothing overwhelming. And especially once I apply my concealer and my powder, it really does even out to where um, it looks more of like my shade. But as you can see, it definitely gives you a nice luminous glow. But what I like is that it's not overly dewy. So. I have pretty normal skin, and I would suggest this for someone who is dry, normal combination, and even oily, because the initial finish of the tinted moisturizer of the tinted moisturizer is not overly dewy. Um, if you had dry skin, you might even want to just leave it right here and not set it. I'm going to set mine because I typically always set any type of foundation that I wear because I do tend to get a little bit oily in my T-zone, but I really, really like the finish. I like the coverage of this tinted moisturizer. I use the Real Technique sponge. Um, you can use it with a brush or you can actually use it with your fingers, which is what it claims that you can do. I will admit I've never tried it with my fingers. 
I have not tried it with a brush, but I really do like it with a sponge. I'm just into sponges right now, so um, that's what I used. I want to insert a picture of flash test because it does have an SPF of 25, and if you aren't aware, anything with an SPF in it tends to potentially give you a white cast if you are using flash photography. So I'll insert a, uh, a picture right now so that you can see if there's any flashback with it, and then I'll apply my concealer. So as you can see from the picture, there is some flashback with this tinted moisturizer, so I would just say wear it during the daytime, um, maybe stray away from it at night, since at night if you are taking pictures, you're probably going to have to use some flash. Um, but I think it's great for the day, and um, obviously you're not going to notice that during the day. So let me go ahead and apply my concealer. It's the Instant Age Rewind Concealer from Maybelline. Finish off my makeup, and then I'll check back in with you to see the finish. Okay, guys, so this is the finished product. I have on all of um, my face makeup on top of this tinted moisturizer and I will link everything down below with what I have on my face and whatever. Okay, so this is the finished look. I think that it looks very good um, under all of the face makeup that I used. I used powders, I used the highlight, and everything is sitting pretty good. Um, as you can see, if you if I zoom in closer, it is starting to crease just a little bit here in my smile lines, but I will tell you all something. And if this happens to you all, let me know down below because I feel like my smile line is just a little weird. Anytime that I shave my mustache, I notice that foundations crease more in this particular smile line. And I'm guessing because there's no hair there, there's nothing there to like buffer and keep the foundation from settling deeper. So I'm not judging the tinted moisturizer by that because I just um, shaved my face. This is Tuesday, Sunday night, and I wore this Friday and Saturday, and I didn't have it settling here, especially this early on. So I just wanted to make note of that, just in case you saw it. It is settling just a bit, but like I said, it's nothing, nothing major. This is a full review, so I just wanted to point out anything so that you were aware of what it is. So it is currently 718. Um, I applied this around... I want to say 640-ish, so it's been on for almost an hour now. Um, so I'll check back in in a couple of hours, mm, probably not. <laughs> I'll just do some check-ins and then um, we'll see how it goes. So I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, so um, I'm doing a three hour check-in on the Everkey Beauty Tenant Moisturizer. And so far, I'm in my car so let me take a look. So far, I think things are looking pretty good. Um, there is definitely some more creasing right here with my smile line, so hopefully y'all can see that. Um, but I'm just gonna pat that out. So, um, as you can see, I patted that out and things blended pretty good. Um, I'm definitely getting some oiliness right around my nose which is where I typically do produce more of my oils but everywhere else along my face I still think looks pretty good so I will probably check back in I'm gonna try to check it in in another three to four hours based on um, how work goes but yep things look pretty good so far so yeah hi guys so I am back it is the end of my day I am ready to wrap up my thoughts and tell you all how this Every Hue Beauty Tinted Moisturizer held up today. So it is 5.03, which means I've had this Tinted Moisturizer on for 6 to almost 11 hours. So a good 10 and a half hours. So we've had it on for a full day. I went to work, I've eaten, all that good stuff. So let me just take a look at what we're looking at here. Um, so as you can see, I am a little dewy. I do not feel like I'm overly oily. I have not plotted all day long. The only thing that I've done was just tapped out my smile line here, which you saw in the earlier clip, but and that was around 9.45 this morning. So since 9.45, I have not touched my face. I have not blotted. I haven't done anything. And I really think it has held up pretty decently. So I'm looking in at my mirror here, and I do see, obviously, some more accumulation of the... Um, Tinted moisturizer settling in my smile line here. Um, 
but around my nose I don't see anything caking up um, don't see anything caking up around my forehead I've been eating so I think my chin looks a little looks a, like the tinted moisturizer has rubbed off um, and I also touch my chin a lot but things look pretty good so I'm just gonna take some tissue and blot my face just to see what things look like after doing so it's definitely not transfer resistant which no one said that it was but as you can see after I blot I think it looks still pretty good like if I needed to leave the house now and go somewhere else I would feel confident leaving the house like this um, I would probably use a setting spray maybe use my powder just to make things look a little, a little bit more smooth but I think it looks pretty good so I definitely recommend this tinted moisturizer especially if you are looking for something to wear day to day um, I've, like I said I've worn this four times now it hasn't broke me out yet um, which my my skin is pretty it's not overly sensitive but if something's gonna break me out it will typically break me out the first one or two times that I've worn it just based on my experience with foundations and other types of things that I put on my face so I don't think this is something that's going to break me out um, if it does I'll definitely let you all know and I'll update you but I really like this I can definitely see myself reaching for this multiple times um, from here on out because I just really like the finish I like that um, it holds up pretty good too. Um, the first time I wore it, I wore it for over 12 hours and um, I was traveling to go visit my brother and all my family came and so I walk in the room and my sisters are like, what do you have on your face? And I was like, doesn't it look good? And I had had it on that day for over 12 hours. So I think it holds up very well um, and I was really impressed that it held up that long. So I give it two thumbs up this is glam girl chelsea approved like i said you can purchase this in target you can also order it online from their website um and that's it if you have any questions about it that i didn't answer definitely leave them down in the comments below tell me your thoughts how do you think it held up throughout the day um and let me know some of some tenant moisturizers that you really enjoy thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this video um definitely give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you hopefully in my next video bye guys